Joining me at CES in Las Vegas is the chairman of Volkswagen, Dr. Herbert Dees. Thanks so much for your time. Last night was a very important moment for you. You unveiled a car that we're going to talk about in a moment. You also apologized for the emission scandal. Car first. Why is the car behind you so important to Volkswagen at this time? The industry will change a lot in the coming years and probably more important than the drivetrains becoming uh, electric is probably the car becoming a very important part of the internet. And uh, that makes it uh, very appropriate to come here to America because America will play a major role there in electric cars, but also in the connectivity of the car in automotive clouds. And that is why we are basically here. After uh, the last couple of months, we really uh, reviewed our strategy and we are focusing now more on electric cars, more on the full connected cars, on autonomous driving cars. And uh, that made our appearance here very necessary. Second reason for sure is uh, the diesel issue. We have to uh, really sort it now fast and soon. We made a lot of progress over the past uh, weeks. Uh, so we are very confident that within the next uh, weeks uh, or months uh, uh, latest, we come to an agreement with the local authorities, with EPA, uh, with CARB, and we can present a package to our customers which will satisfy them and the authorities. And can those talks continue irregardless of any lawsuits filed against the company? Because the U.S. also filed a suit. Is it, does it go on separate tracks? Now, to fix the problem has for us first priority. No, we have to satisfy our customers. We have to rebuild the trust in our products and the company. So that is our top priority. And, and just to clarify, when you said coming weeks or months, is there a first quarter or a second quarter target on that time frame? Uh, you know, we have to, the, the situation in the U.S. is complex. All in all, worldwide, we have about 10 million cars, and many of those we already have fixes for. They are approved. Uh, in Europe, for instance, 8.5 million cars are basically ready to fix uh, the uh, software updates, and minor hardware changes are starting now in end of January. In the U.S., the situation is very complex. We have different cars. We have uh, different uh, legal environments. It's federal law. It's uh, carb state law. Uh, we have different uh, levels of uh, engine dressings and different car styles. So we have a very complex engine and that took us time to really uh, work out the solutions. We think we have now a, a package, a comprehensive package, which we have to discuss with the authorities. It's a very uh, constructive dialogue. We, we get good advice from them, but we need their uh, approval and their input. And that is why I can't tell you now it's uh, within the next few weeks or so, but I think we will, we will soon come to a conclusion. So you're moving forward with kind of cars of the future, you're managing your current problem. At the same time, you're dealing with the fact that sales have fallen since emissions. And I know it's important for you to build back your customer trust. When do you anticipate a turnaround in your sales? Will you see that in 2016? Uh, First of all, we, we have to fix the problem. No? Uh, once we, we settled, uh, let's say, the situation with our customers and uh, the uh, regulators, I think we are then we really can once again build in our future. I think we will have a very positive future here because we have uh, a very nice heritage here. Yesterday on the show, you've seen, we've presented the, the body, which is kind of a new interpretation of the first bus, which is a very emotional car, also here in the States uh, from the 60s, 70s. Many people drove those cars uh, and we get a very positive feedback. Uh, I think the brand has a tremendous uh, heritage here with, with the Beetle Golf is a very accepted uh, car. Our technology is very accepted, so we have a good basis. We have a strong dealer body. They are fully behind us. We have a plant here in the United States, a very competent, modern plant. Uh, so I'm, and, and we have also a product lineup to come to the United States, which will be very convincing. So I'm very optimistic about our future. But first, we have to settle our solve our problems and uh, and settle the situation. And finally, is Volkswagen at this point strong enough to stand alone? You don't need a partner. Our uh, Volkswagen is a, is a, one of the uh, major players. We have uh, we are technologically, technologically uh, uh, very well set up uh, with the Porsche, Audi brands. So we have, uh, I think, enough strengths uh, to cope with the crisis and uh, then get stronger out of it than we came in.